Welcome to Keto on the Couch with Rachel and Joe. I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos, we talk about various keto topics, and then once a week we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and if you are subscribed don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it yeah so we had a big week it was welcome to the 320 new subscribers 320 subscribers since the last keto on in the couch in one week we had 320 Thank subscribers you. boy Thank that's you that's a long way from we used to grow like Two a week. I know. Five a week. Then we were getting to like 10 a day. Isn't God good? And God is awesome. And thank you guys thank for joining. Thank you so much. It's been an exciting week. It has. We're back on a couch. We're back on a couch. We're not at the table trying to eat. I, I actually like this better. Me too. <laughs> but yeah, it's been an exciting week. We hit a thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. And uh, we, what else happened this week? We had, that, we had a collaboration that we have ongoing uh, with Watch Autumn Keto. I'll How leave a cool link that? to that video right over your head. She's super cool. She is awesome. And I'm enjoying the, where it's called Cut Down to KetoCon. Yeah. So for those of you who are new, we're headed to KetoCon in Austin, Texas in a month. Let us know if you guys are going. Yeah, if you're going to be at KetoCon, leave a message down below, leave a comment, and let's make sure we can hook up and uh, meet each other there. Yeah, I would love that. Oh my goodness. So we are getting ready for Caleb's graduation. Yeah, Caleb is graduating on next Tuesday. Next, I was gonna say Taz Day, but that's not, a, that's not a word. Well, when they're seeing this video, it's actually tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow, oh <laughs> tomorrow. my gosh. I'm not like mentally prepared for that yet. So it's our third child graduating high school. So we actually did it. We did it. We got three children through high school, all with like a, a grades. I didn't kill anybody. We didn't kill anybody. But um, so I feel accomplished. I actually saw somebody else's child because you know every school graduates on a different day. We're just in graduation season. Like I prom took a drink season. of this thinking I was drinking water, but I'm actually drinking keto vitals, and it just like, what was that? Lemon. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I was I saw somebody else had posted pictures from their child's graduation. I burst into tears. I was like sobbing. You're taking this one harder than the other two. I think it's because it's the last it's one. It's the last. It's the baby. Yeah, like it's it's. I it, don't remember the other two being like this emotional. Oh, I cried. Well, John's I know you was cried. hard. I know you. John's was, was hard because he was the first one. Yeah. And so. And I think Anthony's didn't hit me till we were in the ceremony. And then all of a sudden in the ceremony, I just Hopefully freaked out. Hopefully you don't have a repeat of last year's graduation, like Anthony's graduation, where your shoe fell off and we were like duct taping. Actually, we didn't even have duct tape. We had zip ties is all we so had. So I've learned my lesson. I love thrift stores. Okay. So first of all, like I actually have a thrift store semi-hall here that okay. I wanted to show them. But... I have learned I no longer purchase used shoes. Yeah, no more shoes from a thrift store. So what happened was um, we went to Anthony's graduation and I got some fancy schmancy heels to go with my dress. Um, and the front of it came off as we were walking into the venue. Now, if it was the back, if it was the heel, you could have just drug your foot and been fine. Or snapped the heel up on the other one amid flats. Oh, absolutely. But it was the front. So I couldn't, I could not walk. So we were like, what are we gonna do? So and I had my truck. So the only thing I had in my truck was zip ties. Zip ties and duct tape. <laughs> so we zip tied and duct taped my shoe on, super classy, right? So we made it through the ceremony, no problem. We're on our way out and I wanted to talk to Anthony's guidance counselor who has really been like super helpful with Anthony through his entire like high school And she was career. also John Paul's guidance counselor and like Amazing. even remember John Paul even though it had been like four years since he had graduated. Shout out to Miss Elwa because she is like the bomb.com. But anyway, so we're walking and I'm walking alongside of her and the other shoe falls apart. It was so funny. So now I like, I can't walk and out of just chivalry, Caleb picks me up and starts carrying me. So now he's carrying me as we're walking alongside of this guidance counselor. I know she thought we were just a hot mess of crazy, but 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. So let's no more hope, thrift shoes. Let's and they were like in brand new condition. I mean, I don't even think they had been worn when you got them. I feel like maybe somebody left them in a garage or something, and the glue, the glue that held them together. Down. But I do have some t-shirts that my mom got at a thrift store because I started thinking about thrift stores when it comes to like a keto lifestyle, right? Because you're going to drop sizes before you drop weight. Yep. We definitely noticed that. We've talked about that a lot. Um, but you have to go to work and you kind of want to celebrate your successes, right? So um, I could not afford to replace my wardrobe with every tier of weight loss, That's right. right? So what do you do? I, I knew I was gonna need like a pair of dress pants, a pair of jeans, like a skirt, a dress, and like a couple of shirts, right? So if I was to have to replace that in a mall store, I'm going broke, right? So I just started shopping at thrift stores and you did the same thing. I did the same thing because I was dropping weight like crazy, I mean I was like, dropping a size every two or three weeks. But you knew it wasn't gonna be the size you were gonna land on forever. And yeah, and the, the thing about me was prior to keto, like I never wanted to buy clothes because it was embarrassing to go in and you could never find my size. And then it, it was like a realization of how big I was, like yeah. up into almost a 44 pants and then double, almost triple extra large shirt. So like I pretty much wore basketball shorts all the time. Yeah. Because it's like, you know, they expand, right? And like oversized t-shirts and, and I never wanted to get dressed up. Rachel used to like constantly yell at me like, can't you get dressed up? And it's like, I just didn't want to go shopping. Mm -hmm. But now I was getting clothes and I wanted nice clothes, but I knew I was going to continue to lose weight. So we did thrift stores and I didn't start going into places like Hollister and Express until I got to my weight. And even there, we only buy like the deals. We like go in and Anthony does the same thing, like straight to the clearance section or like yeah. I just got some shirts this week that were 50% off. Like that's how I can afford to go into Hollister and stuff. But the thrift stores in our local area have really upped their game. Yeah. It's not like it used to be where you're like, I this is I would never wear this. I mean, a lot of times things still have the tags on them and all kinds of stuff. So I got in two um, shirts. My mom actually picked these guys up. So here was one of them. And it's just like a couple of bucks and it's nice to have just something fresh, right? Like brand new, super nice. And then she got me this one, like va va voom, right? Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh. Now I'm going to have to wear a shirt or something underneath it. Why? Because this is strapless and there is no such thing as a strapless bra that works. I'm happy for you to wear it just like that. I'm telling you, like ladies, like tell me if that is not true. Like. If you're wearing a strapless bra, you're in panic mode the entire time because my experience with the strapless bra is halfway through the day, my boob sweat or something <laughs> moves the bra down. There's never- We agreed we weren't talking about boobs anymore. There's never a bra that's on tight enough. And so now it like starts going below where it's supposed to be. And now I have udders. <laughs> I have two sets. Like Let's it's crazy. Let's change the subject. Well, anyway, so, Caleb and I, actually, we didn't go to a thrift store for graduation clothes because it's a special occasion. We wanted something brand new. Um, but we went to Burlington. They Shout out to Burlington. Deals. They have really good deals. It was like $12 for um, a shirt that was like $50 price tag still on it. It was like really nice. And, um, and for me, I got my dress at Ross which again is another place that was very cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks. But um, because it's impossible to find dresses anymore. Yeah. Right? Like I either have to go to Burlington or I have to go to Ross because yeah, there's just not a lot of dresses. And what are you supposed to wear to a graduation? Like it feels fancy pants, right? Yep. Can't like show up in jeans. So a couple of housekeeping things. First of all, I think we're just a few subscribers away from or a few likes away on Keto on the Couch episode 10. I can't believe we're filming 13 and we still haven't finished the giveaway from episode 10. It's kind of hilarious because there's several hundred views and yet not a hundred and, what was it, 50 I, likes or 125? We needed 125 likes and the funny part to me is there was like 160 or 170 comments. Yeah, just so hit like the like So like 160 button. people want to win but nobody the like button. It's just funny. I, I just find it funny. But yeah, we, we're anxious to give that away. We did our thousand subscriber giveaway this week. Cindy yeah. won. Congratulations. Uh, that got shipped out today. She'll have yeah. it by the time this airs. Yeah, but I just mailed it today. Yeah. So I was, I, it was just a good week. I did want to show this though. So I was looking on Amazon because I have a new Amazon addiction that's replaced my QVC addiction, right? So I was looking for stuff 
and we usually use the Lancanto monk fruit, um, the maple syrup. Uh, maple syrup. Yeah, it and is so good. I saw a bunch of people recommending this stuff, and it was like sweet leaf, sugar free uh, stevia syrup. I'll put it up here. It was not cheap, and um, it wasn't super cheap. It was like ten dollars. And I'm reading all the comments, and it didn't show. It showed the nutrition like facts, uh, but it didn't show the ingredients. All of the ingredients, and you couldn't read it. So I, I was like, you know what? I'll try it. Yeah. You know, because the other stuff's expensive, and I'm I like stevia. So I get it home, and this is just kind of like a caution thing. And I'm looking on the back here, and it's like 70 calories, zero grams of fat. Oh, no, it showed the ingredients, but it didn't show the nutrition label is what it was. Okay. It showed all the ingredients. And I'm reading the ingredients. It says purified water, vegetable glycerin, uh, natural flavors, xanthan gum, stevia leaf extract, caramel coloring, and then uh, monk fruit extract. So it sounds good. Sounds great, right? Super clean. And you go down, and it's 70 calories. It is zero fat, zero protein, 15 grams of carbohydrates. What now? 15 grams of carbohydrates. And I'm looking at these ingredients. In how, what's the serving size? In the serving size is 30 milliliters. What the heck whatever is that, that comes out to be. This is 24 ounces. It says there's 24 servings. But I'm looking at these ingredients. I'm like, where is the carbs coming from? Yeah. So there's something in here. So don't buy this stuff, especially on Amazon, because I can't even return it. Like you can't return food products to Amazon. Who who is putting out thirty milliliters? <laughs> what is that like size? I don't know, but again, it was like I said, it was it was. I think a lot of people are going to see stevia, you know, sweetened maple syrup, and they're going to buy it. I, yeah, like if they're on keto, and yeah, don't buy this stuff because it's not keto at all. I, I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Man, so <laughs> use it as like a. Uh... A paperweight. Con confession, I did like, I just had to taste it. I put like my finger in it and I was like, I'll find, I'll sacrifice it. It doesn't even taste good. Really? It doesn't taste good at all. That stinks. Well, at least it's expensive and it doesn't taste good and it's useless to our diet. <laughs> yeah. So it's the yeah. whole thing. So we did the thousand subscriber giveaway. We had a bunch of good videos this week. Yeah. Right? Um, we had some good food as we are getting creative yeah. On this thing. Well, well, we'll talk about like the count, the cut down the KetoCon in the cut down the KetoCon video. Yeah. Which we're going to film, I think, ab tomorrow, right? But I have enjoyed bike riding. You've enjoyed your bike as riding. As part of my cuts. We can talk about that. So, yeah, you can talk briefly about that. Yeah. we. Um, so I've noticed that the bike riding has been like a perfect exercise for me because of the fact that I can just jump up and go. There's a lot of things where you have to like set aside a certain time of day to exercise or to go someplace, but I've been loving that it's like, oh, I have an hour free, I can just jump on my bike and go. Uh -huh. And I don't care what I'm wearing, but I have to tell you, I've been learning all kinds of interesting things about our neighborhood, <laughs> right? So there's, uh, some people have like beautiful houses and I really like enjoy that. Other people have some strange pets. Yeah. Well, we have one lady that's got just a ton of rabbits. She has a ton of rabbits. And they just roam free on the outside. They're digging up everybody's lawns. And then they get mad. She's like, don't touch my rabbits. I'm like, well, don't let them like just come and dig up my yard. Depending on the time of day when I am biking. Because sometimes it's like earlier in the morning. Sometimes it's late at night. All right. I'm going by this house. She also has a herd of, of guinea pigs that she releases onto the lawn to like, to eat her grass, which is weird. So then this morning, I went at an off time and I got chased by a dog that the person was yelling at me like, don't worry, it's friendly. But I'm like, it was running right for me barking. Like I'm not slowing down to find out if this really is a nice dog or not. Um, and then all of a sudden, I come into a herd of chickens. Now there, now we do Did not. Did you bring me home some? I know I should have, right? I we do not live in like a super rural area. No, it's like a total suburb, right? Right. And so all of a sudden, there is literally twelve chickens. And in we the allowed to have chickens. I'm getting chickens. There was twelve chickens. I want twelve chickens. That and, would give me enough eggs for the day. And they were they were the most adorable things. And I scared the fool out of them. And it was like, oh my gosh, you know how they make that little like woo? And then like 
I was getting out of my way. I'm ready to get chickens again. We used to have chickens. They make the best pets. I, they were awesome. They, I'm definitely ready to get some chickens. They love you. They follow you around everywhere. They love being held. They were sweet as they could be, I right? Think it's time to get chickens. I know. Don't tempt me because you know I will I'm get thinking, them. It's time to get chickens. Don't say it. Let's get into our food. So okay. even though we're going to go over the food and, and cut down to KetoCon, so... Uh, it was a fun food week because we filmed the So Easy Rachel Could Make It taco pie. I love that. And so we ate that. We basically ate that for two days. And then I had some ground beef made like in the refrigerator because it was on sale because our Penn Dutch started this deal called Taco Tuesdays. And this was like the next day. Brilliant. And it's like calling it Taco Tuesdays and ground beef, 80 20 ground beef and ground chicken is $1.99 a pound every Tuesday. That is awesome. So even though it's not grass fed ground beef, like how, I'm like, how am I going to turn that down, right? We're not. So I ran and I got a package of that. And then we made the taco pie again. But I wanted to make it like super thick because we've got to watch our carbs. Yeah. And so I made a double meat taco pie. That We've had taco sense. pie every day this week. But I love it because it's like, I love hamburger. Yep. I love that taco seasoning blend that you use because it really nicely seasons stuff. I love cheese. I love eggs, but like creative eggs, like, you know, it doesn't feel like we're on the egg diet. Right. You know, and, um, and then adding like sour cream and guacamole. Dude, I could eat that all the time. Yeah, so we had that almost every day. Oh, one day we did make the pulled pork. That was good. Uh, yeah, I smoked a pork butt on our on our smoker. You smoked a butt. <laughs> so it's been it's been a, a I guess boring week, but fun week with food because Why like I really enjoy the taco week? pie. Well, it's we're not making these super fancy recipes, which I want to make, but again, at at being limited to fifteen total carbs a day, it kind of limits you. I feel like you're getting creative though. Yeah. I mean, I I'm not like. Well, fancy I had a problem the eater. other day where I got down at the end of the day. I'm like, I still had like 500 calories to go. And I'm like, I have no carbs left and two grams of protein. What do I do? I guess I got to eat 500 calories worth of butter. Yeah, I was going to say, my favorite thing, you're so adorable. Like, you come in and I'm, I do like a lot of times eat, eat my meals in bed. I, I just like that. I don't know why. And you got to remember, I'm eating 600 calories more than Rachel. I, I have like a little like tray and I'll like sit in bed and like eat. It's probably terrible. You should be at a dinner, dinner dinner table. But I wait until we do a mukbang, and then I sit at a table. But, like, usually I like to eat in bed. And so I'm sitting there <laughs> eating. And um, Joe had made me a cup of coffee or whatever. And all of a sudden he comes in, and he's got, like, a spoon, and I can't tell what it is that you have. And all of a sudden I realize it's butter, and it's, like, gloop. It's in my coffee. Like, he just gloop. Like, oh, you need a little bit more fat. But it was just, like, hysterical because it was just so random. I just thought it was funny because I came in and I Splash. said to you, like, I don't know what to do. I, like, I need to eat another 500 calories, but I have no carbs left and I have no, um, I had no protein left. And you just, the look that you gave to me of, like, get out. Yeah. Like, like, poor baby. Poor baby. Like, you still have to eat another 500 calories, and I'm, like, starving to death over here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to kill me. Well, because there is, like, a difference in calories. And you're usually really good. You don't... I'm, I'm, I am eat 600 calories more than you. So, here's... This is what an awesome husband he is. Usually, I see my plate and his plate, and they're pretty similar. He eats his extra calories, like, somewhere else, like, yeah. not, where I don't have to watch it I happen. try really hard to not get caught, too, like, except for, like, right before we're filming this, you're like, what are you eating? I'm like, a piece of cheese. Oh, you're like, this is not fair. You're like, a piece of I'm cheese. I'm like, I'm trying to compensate the calorie differences without it affecting like our actual meals but yeah you do you get a little upset with that but Sorry. i do try to hide it so it's not that i'm sneaking food i'm trying to make you feel better thank you <laughs> but i will still be mad at you if <laughs> that's how marriage works uh do you want to do some comments i love comments let's do comments okay let's oh subscriber of the week oh yes Subscriber of the week. And we got to pull up the comments. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Okay, so subscriber of the week is coming from our Facebook family group. Oh, speaking of which, before we get into comments. Yes. So a lot of people have been asking us about our T-shirts. Yes. Our T-shirts and uh, I'm wearing one here. And our mugs. Yes. So we did finally... 
open up the t-shirt shop. So there's a link down below in the description. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to set up a promotion for free shipping. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll let that last, how about until, I guess... The next keto the on the next couch? The next keto on the couch. That seems really I, I don't know how long they'll let me let it run. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do free shipping. Mm -hmm. And then if you do, though, if you go join our Facebook family group, there's another promotion in the Facebook family group. That's got like a discount. It's a discount. So, But you got to go join the Facebook family group to find out what it is and how and we, to use it. Yeah, and we have some stuff that has like our regular two crazy ketos and then also keto, keto on, on the, the couch. couch. Yeah, there's two different designs right now. We're we're trying to come up with another design. You've got a great you've got a great logo, but I've got to figure out how to draw it. Right? We want to draw a, a chicken with some eggs coming out. Yeah, for something that says like "fuel don't buy like farm fresh butt nuggets." Yeah. <laughs> eggs, right? So, <laughs> There's something wrong with us. So yeah, I, I'm trying to find somebody who can draw a chicken for me with the eggs coming out. And yeah, we're gonna write "fuel by farm fresh butt uh, butt nuggets." Why not? Is that a good idea? Let us know down in the comment section if you would buy that shirt. What else? Like, put it down in the comments. Yeah, put it down in the comment else. section if there's anything else we any like. Are there any like sayings that Rachel says a lot that we should maybe put on a T-shirt that I haven't picked up on her saying all the time? I feel like we need to have one that just says "Dang." I was just gonna say that. So right. So anyway, yeah. So there's a link down below. There's a link also on our website, but that is not gonna have the free ship. You have to use the link that's in this video. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So our subscriber of the week is coming from Facebook family group, and it is Susie. Catherine. Hi, Susie. Okay. Congratulations. She uh, she wrote us a little thing. She put some, some pictures. Beautiful. So, uh, I'll put the pictures up. She said, I was so unhappy when I was so heavy. I couldn't do anything I wanted physically. Both my parents died suddenly before so I was 40 sorry. from obesity related illnesses. It has been two years since I started keto. I'm five foot one. I started at 250.8 pounds and I'm 47 years old. Today I'm 143 wow. pounds. Wow, that is incredible. That she is looks incredible. Awesome. You look beautiful. Um, I would like I I would still like to lose another 10 or so pounds, but honestly, I'm just blessed beyond measure. There have been plenty of ups and downs. I lost my best friend in all of this. She said she mm. didn't know me anymore, even though I'm the same person I've always been. I did this for me, my husband, and my son Gabriel. It's wow. the best single personal decision I have ever made. I'm thankful to be part of this group. Wow. Like, congratulations. That is incredible. Thank you for doing that for your family. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes there are people that um, aren't happy for you. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, and sometimes if you're in a season, I can remember, like, even when you were, like, divorced, there was somebody and like, we were getting together and we were getting married. And somebody wasn't happy for your getting married. Yeah. And it was kind of like because they they were also single, and it was like, hey, we had an unspoken pact that we were both going to just be miserable forever for yeah. the rest of our lives, and then didn't want to be friends with you anymore because you were like finding happiness. Right. And I don't understand that, but I'm we're not going to like block our own happiness. You can't. I mean, I think you made a beautiful decision for your family, and that's what matters. And I mean, I'm I hope that somebody that you know you've been friends with and care that you care about clearly, you know, will maybe have a change of heart. Right. But if they don't, I'm not gonna be fat for someone just because they want yeah. me to be he I'm, unhealthy. I'm sorry about that. I mean, but you know, I, my the way I live is God comes first in my life, then Rachel, then my children, then everybody else, or then my the rest of my family, then everybody else. Yeah. And I know the kids love it when I say, "Hey." mom comes before you and they're like yeah. what that's how god designed it yeah right but like if you've lost a parent to a you know an obesity or you know health related you know death like i i did too my father definitely i think that would still be alive if he had taken like measures yeah. to, to i lost to my dad get, to brain cancer to so. lose weight and get healthy then you know yeah like you don't want to do that to your children you want to live for them. So, Susie, congratulations. You look beautiful. You look amazing. Amazing. And we're, and we're friends forever. Yes. How about that? Okay, so you ready? Yes. So, Sylvia wrote. Hi, Sylvia. 
Um, please do a review on the coffee maker and another one on your new smoker. Revel is my favorite brand and I do have and love their appliances. Getting some of the true lemon packs. Excited to try them all. Thanks for another great episode on the couch. Okay, so Sylvia, here you go. So we have filmed the coffee maker episode. We just got to figure out what day we're going to link, uh, put it up. Yep. So um, we have filmed the smoker episode. We got to figure out what day we're putting it up. Done and done. And we filmed... <laughs> Uh, the True Lemon uh, packet. So review of that. We got to figure out what day we're doing it up. So you guys are all probably going, what do you mean you filmed them all? I'm trying to figure out what day you're doing up. Because Caleb is graduating yes. next week and my mom and my sister are coming for a week, we basically have filmed all of next week's videos already because yep. we are committed to giving you guys at least five new videos every single week. So yeah. like next week is all taken care of. The only thing that's not filmed for next week yet is... Well, we're doing keto on the couch right say, well, now, yeah, and then we got to film our uh, follow up with Autumn for Cut Down to KetoCon, which we'll probably I think we're doing that on Sunday. I'm excited. So, so yeah, so we have all of those are already filmed. You will see those soon. And thank you for the suggestions. We do want to make videos that you guys want to see. So if there's somebody gave us a great, great suggestion. Yeah. And we are going to do this. In fact, I was going to go to the store later and get it. So we did the Great Bar Showdown. Uh -huh. And we love seltzer water, like sparkling water. Ooh. And somebody suggested, like, we do a review on sparkling water. Yes. So we are going to do, let us know what you guys think about this down. That We're going to what do entries? a seltzer water showdown. What are your favorite seltzers? So let us know down below in the comment section what are your favorite brand sparkling waters? So the ones that we're thinking about right now is Perrier. Waterloo. Uh, Waterloo. Bubbly. Bubbly. Um, we there do, you have Polar. Should we do Publix brand and Winn-Dixie brand? We'll brands? do Publix brand. We'll do the Winn-Dixie brand. These are the ones that we can think of. And we're going to attempt to get the same flavor on all of them. Mm -hmm. So, you know, now there are certain ones like I know that like I like Waterloo because they have some flavors that other ones don't have. But we're probably just going to get like lemon lime or yeah. something like that and try to get the same flavor for all of them. And we're going to do the similar thing like the bar showdown where blind taste test which ones are the best ones. So yep. let us know any other brands that you can think of down below. They've got to be LaCroix. zero carb. Yeah, LaCroix. They've got to be zero carb. Just plain, like, natural flavoring uh, sparkling waters. I'm excited about that. And if there's something else that you guys would like to see, if you'd like us to review something. Give us suggestions. Again, we're trying to do five videos every single week. So we need you guys to keep telling us what you want to see. Yeah. So And we try to change it up. We try to do, like, a recipe video. We try to have a couple of review videos. And uh, we try to have a conversation video. And then, of course, we have keto on the couch and stuff. So Yeah. Okay, so... Viva J. Hi, Viva J. Grandpa Joe needs a letter opener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. <laughs> so he said, if I win Keto Savage's golden ticket, I'm going to bring my Grandpa Joe with me. Sorry, Rachel. Oh, I love you, Viva J. I just J. realized that I forgot about that golden ticket. We have, like... Three week or four weeks worth of those chocolate maple bacon ones. I may have to go cut open every one of them. I was gonna say, watch you find it like two years later or something. Oh, uh, that was awesome. Oh my gosh, Baby J, you're funny. Patricia McIntosh, Rachel, Hi, the keto lifestyle has helped cut out emotional eating for me too. It took about a year for me to understand what full even felt like. Oh, I I totally hear you there. And, and there's and there's still like a lot of challenges. There's still like if I get stressed out, if I get sad, if I get happy, like Well, you, you know. came to me the other day with that, right? You like we got home and I still had to cook and you like jumped in the bathtub. And I'm like, what is wrong? And she's like, I like I'm like limiting it on my calories, which we didn't even limit our calories this week, but you're just like, I don't know what's going on with well, me I'm mentally. Trying to, I'm trying and, to stick to the plan. Right. But she was like, I don't know what's going on with me mentally, but like I am not full and I know I'm supposed to be full. Yeah. So I- we, were, we did OMAD like three days this week where we literally were eating 1500 calories within 20 minutes. So here's my strategy. When I know that it is a time of day or it is like an emotional situation that I'm like, you know what? I am not going to be able to make a good decision. I need to take myself out right. of, of what's going on. And I will go and get in the bath because 
if I'm naked, clearly, I'm not going to, like, be in the kitchen standing at the refrigerator, like, with a whole family in the house, you know. Keep and, it G-rated. Yeah. But, I mean, it just, it, it gets me out of that situation. Yeah. It's, like, the easiest way for me to be home but not be at the refrigerator. Right. I, I, I think it's great. Aaron Young wrote, I love that you go to church. I love church. Awesome. I love fueling my body and my soul. Aw, well, I'm glad. Yes. That's awesome. So for those of you who are new to our channel and maybe have not seen like any of our original videos, um, we are children's pastors. That's so our day job. That's our day job. And we absolutely love it. I'm glad you love it too, so. Miss Aaron. Okay, so um, Donna Sparrow wrote, Hi, Donna. I love your keto on the couch videos, but I'm sorry. I'm not sure I really enjoy these dinner or the video where you are eating a meal. Okay, no problem. No problem. Sorry about we that. We try different things. A lot yeah. of people have asked us for the, like, you know, just having a conversation while we eat, I guess, mukbang. Um, but we did not enjoy the keto on the couch that way. Yeah. And we just thought it was different, but. Yeah. But we'll you got to try different things to see what works and what doesn't work. We've talked about like w there'll probably be a summer episode of Keto on the Couch where we'll yeah, be at a park. Yeah, we're thinking about like thinking about going to the park and filming one just in the park or something like yeah. that. You don't want to film it on our patio. It's always like the dog drags every tree branch she can find, and the cat brings home dead mice and dead frogs. And Have we lizards. ever talked about the the thing that that Tabitha drug home not very long ago? Uh, it was like a five foot iguana carcass so i found out what was happening i was taking caleb home from school and we noticed this giant hawk because we live in south florida and there are iguanas everywhere and they're like big and i hate them because i hate lizards and this is a giant lizard that can swim that can climb i was at your mother's house today and I, we went out onto her back patio because she lives on a canal and there was like a literally a four or five foot iguana like sitting at her door. Like, don't ever go out on her dock right now. Oh, I'm telling Lord. you because what they're doing is they're jumping out of the canal and going up on her dock, and they're coming right up and sitting at the pool. Dear Lord. Ah, <laughs> uh, so there was a hawk. We have like a hawk. Yeah. That like goes down, swoops down into a tree and and plucks this iguana right out of the tree and starts like. <laughs> like flying away like majestically with this giant iguana hanging out of its mouth. Well, its sharp beak like popped the head off of that thing. All of a sudden, the rest of the body of the iguana fell down onto the ground headless. Well, our dog grabs it, acts like it is a kill a toy. it's made, and pulls this headless iguana through the dog door onto our back patio. And puts it at our back door. I am like screaming my head off. So now I have to worry about sky meat falling from, if, if there is a headless iguana that lands on me when I'm like trying to get to my car, like we're moving, like that's it. <laughs> And then we have a cat that likes to go hunting and brings home, like, kills birds and mice and brings them home at 2 o'clock in the morning and drops them at the door. He's getting so lazy, though. He's just, like, raiding baby nests. Like, that's not a hunt. Like, you just pulled this innocent baby bird out of its nest. Okay, so next up. Lee Garland. My husband Hi, bought a smoker, and I think it has a lot to do about nothing. Maybe he needs <laughs> Joe's help. Aww. She said, girlfriend, you look awesome. Well, thank you, ma'am. I would be glad to help. Ask me anything you want to know. Yeah, anything. Um, P. Greeny wrote, I love Hi, your P. keto Greeny. on the couch episodes. Your briskets look great. I had my pit boss for a week and I've had good success making ribs, chicken, and pork shoulder, but I tried a small brisket, five and a half pounds on Saturday, and it came out tough and chewing, like no oh, real no. bark on it, and it was a short cook as it was very small, but not very good. I cooked it to 160 degrees and I wrapped it in foil and let it go to 195, rested for an hour. Huh. And so she wanted to know if there's, um, I have any suggestions. Yes, let it cook longer. Really? Um, yeah, you, you're you gonna look online, you're gonna say everybody says, let it go to 195 degrees. Very, but most pit masters are letting that thing go to like 205, 210 degrees. If, if it's tough and chewy, you didn't let it go long enough. So, it so it's edible, more. but cook it longer. And honestly, when it comes to a brisket, it's the same thing with ribs. Um, you can do the temperature, but ultimately you you have to rely on like just 
testing it. And what you do for a brisket is take an old probe or take another meat probe or an insulin thermometer and stick it in. And you're not checking for temperature. You're checking for doneness. So like just similar to like a cake where you would put a toothpick in and if it comes out, what you're doing now is you're putting that probe in and see if does it just like go right in. Like slide in. Just slide right in. Like literally like a, a hot knife through butter. If, if you have any resistance, if you have to push it off, it's not just going through like like it's liquid fat. Wow. It's not done yet. Let it huh. go a little bit longer. Well, that's and sometimes those meat probes are not like perfectly accurate and stuff like that. So just let it go longer. You know, if you ha if you have that smoker set to 225 degrees, 250 degrees, it's not like you're going to bring it all the way up to 350 degrees. Yeah. So, yeah, let it go to like 210 degrees. It's not going to burn it. Then bring it inside, wrap it in a towel, let it rest for a little while. And, and the good thing is br briskets, you can never time it. So you're going to – I've had plenty of times where – I said, this brisket's going to be done at 5 o'clock. I've timed everything 5 o'clock, and then it's done at 2. I've had other times where we needed it done at 2, and it's not done until 6. Drives me crazy. They kind of have, like, their own mind and, and how they're going to cook. But if it cooks early, don't worry about it. Here's what you do. You take it, wrap it in a towel, mm -hmm. stick it in a cooler. It'll stay hot for a couple of hours. Wow. Yep. That's neat. So. So yeah, so that's that's what it is. So again, wrap it at about 165 degrees to get it over the hump and just let it go. Low keep it at no more than 250 degrees. If you if you have the time, 225 degrees, but you're tacking like three or four hours on when you do that. Wow. Okay. Um, we never have the time. We usually think about making a brisket at like seven or eight in the morning. We're bad like that. Uh Kathy Houston wrote. Hey Kathy. I'm I've tried with the Zevias, but the Stevia is so bitter, I honestly can't stand Stevia. Stevia is an acquired taste. I have not acquired the taste for Zevia. Yeah, but you like it in those Keto Fit bars. I guess you don't get any of those. Well, no, there's some, he's tweaking that recipe perfectly <laughs> then because it doesn't taste like Stevia. It's an acquired taste. Thomas Laurel had a great video how the reason that we don't like Stevia is because that's really what sweetness is supposed to taste like, but we have desensitized ourselves to the really? sweetness. And that the longer you are away from regular like sugar and the artificial sweeteners the more you'll like it and i'm finding that with me as well huh. i'm actually finding it almost too sweet like i'm so used to diet cokes i Calm mean down i'm i'm serious when you compare a diet zevia cola to a diet coke it is so much sweeter so i'm with her <laughs> <laughs> she said i drink my diet soda pop for now until i stop altogether yeah I would love to stop altogether, but I just like flavoring. But I'm drinking a lot less Zevia than I was Diet Coke. So, She said, Rachel, I could kill a chia pet too. I order yes. a water bottle with a unique flavoring system, no sugar, and I do drink more water. It's See? called the, the Circle. I think I've seen that. Huh. If you're interested, search for them on Facebook. You get the bottle and two trial packs for $5. That's kind of cool. And she's like, oh, I can talk forever, so I better get off. Aww. Oh, another one from MJ Hawk. Rachel, okay. I would be very surprised if your cottage cheese does not uh, usually improve with your exercise. Yeah, I think it I think it will. I'm hoping it will. She's like, like you, that is something that I've struggled with for years. You don't get to be 267 pounds and not have dimples in other places aside from your face. Dropping 110 pounds help just as important in my journey has been the role of exercise. My thighs are so, so much better. I work out at home in my home gym. That is awesome. Yeah, it is, it's, it's just, it's, it like grates on my nerves. Like it's one of those things that's just, I've always kind of had a love-hate relationship with my thighs. I try, I'm trying to work on just being thankful that I have working legs, you know, like this, yep. this is a beautiful thing I need to be thankful for instead of always finding a reason to criticize myself, but yeah. It's been a burden. <laughs> I did want to say before we did another comments, because I didn't pull any comments off, but, but on our 1,000 subscriber um, video, like the giveaway, mm -hmm. and then on the winner video, I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who, like for the words of encouragement, I mean, people are writing things like, wow, I didn't know that you only had 1,000 subscribers, and like, I'm so happy for you guys. Just thank you for the encouragement. I mean, we honestly never thought we would have a thousand subscribers. Ever. Ever. We never thought. I mean, we again, we've said this before. We started this channel as a joke. Yeah. And as like a date day. It One was day like we a were date like, night. It literally was a date. We were like sitting 
um, on this couch on the other side being like, hey, let's film ourselves. Yeah. And so I never thought we would have a thousand subscribers or literally have any kind of influence. Yeah. And so thank you. And then again, thank you because when we announced the winner, just everybody like congratulating oh, her. Yeah. I mean, it was just awesome. I we love have that. such an awesome audience. I love it. Yeah. We really love you guys and we appreciate you. Yeah. Laura Barrera wrote. Hi, Laura. Uh, this was on the Keto Fit Bars, I think. No, nope, it, it was. Uh, she was like, "Yes, would it be great for my? This would be great for my hubby to try. He is a bar guy too, and even though he doesn't have a weight problem, he has joined me on keto so, to support me and get all of the Aww. benefits of a low carb lifestyle. That's a good husband. Best husband award. Serious. That is that. Like when you have somebody in your life that just kind of supports you and you know, it is, is in that journey with you, it, it makes a huge difference. Like, it makes a great big difference, I think, for us to have one another. Yeah, and especially with keto, I mean, I know it, it can sometimes, like, bother our kids because we're like, oh, we're not having this in the house, we're not having that in the house, and we're blessed that we're not having that fight with each other. Like, I'm doing this and you're not, and, like, having to cook two different types of meals and, and have that whole fight. So it is such a great, you know, it situation is. when you have somebody who's just supporting well, you. Well, and then somebody and I, you could talk to about stuff or somebody that just understands. So maybe it's not your spouse, but maybe it could be a friend. Maybe it could be a sibling. Maybe it could be a parent. You know, and if you don't have somebody, like, you have us. That's why we started the Facebook family group, right? We love you. Out. And if you have any questions, you have any concerns, you have prayer requests, like whatever it is, like we want to to be there for you. And I, I mean, I love our Facebook family group because I just go down and I see like somebody had put something up about a bar that they ate mm -hmm. and then a bunch of people just going in and like, ooh, that one caused my blood sugar to spike mm -hmm. and just people supporting each other. Wow, I didn't know. Thank you for telling me. Like share recipes. Yeah, and there's recipes being shared. So again, if you haven't checked that out, um, I will leave a link down below. It's now that we have a thousand system. subscribers, there's supposed to be a way that I could link it up there. If I can figure it out, it'll be there. Otherwise, it'll be down down below. Awesome. Okay. Um, Noel or Beth. I know this is Miss Beth writing. This. Hi, Beth. So she said, you did an awesome job. Thank you. This was on like one of the So Easy Rachel Can Make It videos. Okay, she knows how bad of a cook I am. So Beth is Rachel's friend from high school. Yep. She's awesome. She's like, um, you did an awesome job. I'm going to have to call you out, though. Didn't we have food class together in high school with Miss Why Not? Uh, Why Not? Is that what's her name? Her name wasn't that. I just remember she had, like, a very extreme underbite. So she said she, she taught us all kinds of skills. No, we, di we didn't have food class together, Beth, because we went to different middle schools. She's like, I still have the recipe books that she made us put together. No, we went to different. I had home ec Ooh, in Ms. middle Beth school. Beth is starting a war with Rachel. <laughs> no, we, we. I know your mom would have those recipe books if we go dig through her storage room. No, you, you. I, she went to a higher class middle school than I did. Your middle school was better. So yeah, no, we had um, that. That wasn't my teacher. She. Uh, we went to different middle schools, and then we went to to Creek together. I don't know. I have a feeling that Rachel's trying to like. Uh, not tell us something here. Yeah, no. <laughs> I was trying to think if we did have a home ec of any sort in high school, we didn't cook food. There was no ovens or stovetops. <laughs> it would have been in like a classroom where you're like theoretically talking about. I think we should get you and Beth in the food challenge. In a food chat, like to make stuff? To cook. I lose. She's an awesome cook. <laughs> like, the end. Like, I can tell you how that ends. Constance. Well, Constance is one of our new subscribers. And Welcome, she is Constance. super encouraging. I love hearing from her and seeing her beautiful face. Yes. She's a beautiful person. So she said, Rachel, I am loving the attire for your video. The oh. hat is everything. I do not know. I don't know what Joe would do without you. I don't either. <laughs> Be less stressed out. Maybe. No, I, I mean, I, honestly, I don't know what I would do without you. I mean, and she, I get to laugh every day. Well, thank you. So, I enjoy being with you too. She's like, so glad I found this channel. Now I'm addicted. Well, I'm I'm really glad that you're here. We've enjoyed like hearing comments and stuff from her. She's yeah. just a beautiful person. Lynn Marie wrote, Hi, Lynn. Uh, this was on the real good breakfast sandwiches. Rut row. 
She's like actually the breakfast sandwiches. We, they weren't. They weren't bad. horrible. Yeah. Somebody, I forgot to come. I forgot to write this one down. Let me read this one. So it said the enchiladas are okay. I'm not a fan of the pizza either. My Publix carries all types on a regular basis. Definitely on the pricey side. I love your reviews. Thank you. Dang. Oh, she said dang. Dang. That's my fan. Yeah, that's it. First of all, like to me, they're too expensive for not being super good. That that was my whole thing. Like yeah. if they were like really good, I could say like, okay, great. But it's like I was talking to Anthony about those breakfast sandwiches and, and I'm like, they're average at best. They're they're no they're they're like they're frozen breakfast sandwiches. They're like a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich, but you're paying three times the price of a Jimmy Dean breakfast sandwich. I think they're sort of putting a target on their back by calling it the real good food company. If they called it the meh food company, we'd be like, okay, yeah, like it's you know, there used to be a fast food place called Hot Now, right? So their food was terrible. <laughs> like it was, it was just not great. But you know what? They were not claiming they that it was it. great. It's you got hot it, and you can have it now. Yeah, it was hot, and you got it from now. And it was like thirty-five cent hamburgers, and it was just that. It was hot, and now. So yeah. So somebody actually wrote a comment on one of them saying like the poppers are horrible. I'm like, great. We have a box of them sitting in our freezer for us to review. We still need to review those, but. <laughs> We'll see. Maybe they're maybe we find them delicious. Who knows? Probably not. All smiles. She wrote. Hi, all smiles. Rachel, I love your outfit. I've never seen anything like it. What great workout gear! I love how inspirational you two are. I remember when you guys just had two or three hundred subscribers, and I'm like, why don't they have any more? Thank you. It's fantastic to see you both getting the recognition you deserve. Rising stars oh. here. Bless your heart. Well, that thank is you. awesome. That was actually on the thousand subscriber video. Thank you. Well, my workout gear was a bathing suit because I don't wear like very revealing bathing suits. I tend to wear bathing suits. It almost looks like a tennis skirt right. on the bottom. And then on the top, it's like a tank top because sometimes I don't like the bathing suits where it's like a halter because that knot on the back of your neck like bugs me. So I like it more of like a, a bra style top. So, but yeah, thank you. Okay, so last one. Queen Shelly Hughes what wrote. What a cool name. I loved that name. Hi, Queen. She's like, OMG, what a challenge. I was wondering how you two keep the weight off while eating so much food and treats. <laughs> Rachel mentioned she weighs 142 pounds. I weighed that in high school in 1960 to 1964, and I wore a size 16. Mm -hmm. A fashion designer friend said that she would, that would be a size 10 today. Probably, she was yeah. like, there was no such size as a zero to two back then. I believe a six or an eight was the smallest win women's size that you had to buy without going into children's clothes. Wow. I'm down five sizes since last summer, which was a 24 to now a 16. That is That's awesome. awesome. She's like, but only 28 pounds lost. See, but again, look at that difference. 24 to a 16 with only 28 pounds. I mean, yeah. I remember on a traditional diet, what do they say? Every 10 pounds is a size. Yeah. So totally based on different. that, you would be what? A size 18 or a size yeah. 20 at best? Yeah. It's totally different with keto. Yep. Because you're losing fat. So she's like, um, only 28 pounds lost. I measure on the 1st of June. That's good. I love that she's not measuring every day. Like my problem is my relationship with the scale. Yep. If I stay off the scale... And just gauge how I'm doing based on how my clothes fit. I'm a happy camper. I'll give you one worse. Is you don't even know you do this. So you you fight with the scale. You say I'm not going to get on the scale. Mm -hmm. You look great. You're doing great. You're eating well. Then you get on the scale and it doesn't say what you want to say. You get into a bad mood and then go binge eat. That is very true. It's a vicious cycle. So you got on the scale when you weren't supposed to get on the scale. And because the scale doesn't say what it's supposed to say, you go punish yourself more. Yeah. You know what? That is true. That's Stay crazy. Stay off the scale. Yeah. Because your clothes are fitting great. And that's what I'll tell you. Like your clothes are smaller or your clothes are looser. Mm -hmm. why, why does it matter what the scale says? It's and true. I have to I have to do that too. Because like, I mean, heck, we started to cut down the KetoCon and like two days later, I was like up four pounds. I'm like, how am I up four pounds? It made no sense. I knew it was all water because then the next morning I was down seven. It's just bizarre. <laughs> it's just like stay off the scale, Joe. But I totally know what she's talking about when it comes to like 
like sizes now. I think that the sizes now really are. Oh, they're all fake. Off, like I'll take off. it though. Yeah, I mean, I will totally take it, yes. Um, but my mom and I were talking about her wedding dress and I think she said she wore like a size 12 wedding dress, but she was like 120 pounds. Like she was really, really skinny. And I had tried at one point to get into her wedding dress cause she still has it. And, um, I couldn't like it was, it was way skinnier than me. And that was a size 12. But, um, I will say that the, where it was really tight was my arms because, arm fat. I'm like, hi. And then it's like, hi. Well, now it's just arm skin. It's like arm skin. I have it too. Don't worry. Yeah. So I'm done. We can, here. we can wave twice. <laughs> like it's kind of awesome. Right. But, but yeah, so I think that the, the sizes are very different than they used to be, but I will, like you say, I will take the win. <laughs> I will yeah, be like, Oh, you say I'm win. a zero. Okay. I'll take that. I enjoy wearing a, a, a being in a size 29 inch pants. I just had a 29 pants. I but. just had a thought though. Okay. So if the sizes are more forgiving than they used to be, what was my size 22, 24 really? Right? Oh no. Don't worry about it. Okay, I'm not gonna think about it. You don't definitely don't wanna think about that. Yeah, no. So. Well, that is our video for today. Hopefully you guys liked it. And again, give us some ideas down below. Let some Tell us down in the comments section some of the different types of videos you would like to see. Mm -hmm. Leave your questions, your comments, anything like that. And then next week on Next Keto on the Couch, we will answer your questions and comments. I think we actually have a giveaway on the Next Keto on the Couch, if not earlier. Yes. So while we have the Keto Fit Bar, which we released that video today, which it's not today for them. It's three days ago. Um we will do the drawing for that when we film the next Keto on the Couch. So yeah. when you're seeing this, which is Monday, you have five days. Yeah. And we're going to be making that drawing on Friday. So if you haven't seen it, go like that other video. Yep, go over and like that video. And we're and, giving and away the Outback and, one. And, and the Outback. Well, hopefully by then it's gone. Um, yeah, but... Go ahead and go over to the review of the Keto Fit Bar, and we're going to give away an entire box of Keto Fit. Watch it never go. And we have, like, grandkids sitting on the couch with us going, like, yeah, go back and thumbs up that video. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.